you are not able. It's an automatic contradiction. Blind faith is when you believe in God, but don't believe in yourself. That a word to the Disney's new corporation. They are self propagated That's blind faith. When you believe in God, but don't believe in yourself. That's blind faith. You got the also when you can't see the opposition from looking at the provisions of God. I'm blind to everything that the devil say I can do. I only see what God says I can do. So blind is when I don't believe in him. But blind is also when I'm blind to the opposition. Blind to everything and everybody who tell you what you can't do, he's blind to that. See only what God says you can do. Be and do, see to that and see that only. I don't see nothing but what God says. Blind faith also is a conviction. Say conviction. A conviction that I cannot fail without God failing also. <laughs> That's blind faith right there. Yeah. I am so mm -hmm. focused on God. Mm -hmm. I so believe in the God in me. Mm -hmm. I so believe that I am so connected to mm -hmm. God. This is it. That I believe that as I go, he go. Mm -hmm. As I speak, he speak. And I can't fail without him failing also. Mm -hmm. I can't look bad without him. Come on now. I'm so one with God that what happens to me happens to him. Let the hand say thank you. Thank you, Lord. See, this is a way of thinking. But your, if your confidence is not there, you can't, you can't receive what I'm saying. Uh -huh. this, this, this is shaking. Some of y'all right now, uh -huh. boy, you tread some things. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. If you don't believe in you the way you believe in God, there's very little that God won't be able to do for you. Because he's going to work according to the power that works in you. And you can do all things in Christ. Yeah. He can do above all you ask of him, but according to the power that works, the faith that comes in this work in, working in you. But it's blind faith also the conviction that I cannot fail without God failing also. I want you to say that because we're about to wreck you on my part. Come on, lift your hand and say, I can't fail, I can't fail without God failing without also. God failing now tell somebody and say, you can't fail, you can't fail without God failing without also. God failing Paul Kenneth, one of the theologians, said this statement. And I'm going to quote right from him in the passage. He said, we have to be careful about dragging man down. Because man is made in the image of God. And even in a fallen state, to pull down man is to drag God down with it. So he said, don't put your mouth on man in essence. Because man is still the image of God. Fallen does not allow the perfection of who God is to come through. But he's still the image of God. Put your name, put your hand on somebody and say, you are the image of God. <laughs> now, here's the, here's the, here's the catch we're about to do. On your best day and your worst day, you are still the image of God. You just been showing it like you ought to. But the image doesn't change your ability to reflect God. It's what's lacking. But you are still the image of God. So when you pull down one, you pull down the other. That's where I talk to the devil and say, get your hands off of me. Don't so put your hands on me. It's to put your hands on God. But God is in me. Where that comes from, power. Great is he that is in me and he that is in the world. What you do to the one or the least of these my children, God said you do to me also. But get them in the church. And when you go up, God goes up with you. The only thing stopping you is that you don't believe in you. Nothing God can do for you until you believe in yourself. Yeah. 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 Yeah.